Okay, so in this talk, I'm going to do the conceptual definition of limit, which is which is important for a number of reasons, but the main reason is it allows you to construct definitions of limit, not just for this one variable function or one variable two-sided limit, which you have hopefully seen before you saw this video, but also for a number of other limit cases, which will include limits to infinity, functions of two variables, etc. So this is sort of the general blueprint for thinking about limits. Okay, so let me have put this definition here in front for this and, and I'll, I'll, as I'm going this, I'll write things in more general. So the starting thing is, so first of all, F should be defined around the point C. Need not be defined at C, but it should be defined somewhere, everywhere around C. Okay, I won't write that down. I, want to, I don't want to complicate things too much. So we start with saying for every, what does this say? For every epsilon greater than zero. But why are we picking this epsilon greater than zero? Why? What's the what's the goal of this epsilon? What where will it finally appear? It'll appear here. Is this captured? Yes. Yeah. Which means what we actually are picking when we, or if you've seen the limit as a game video, or you you know about how to think of limits as a game, this first thing is being chosen by the skeptic, right? And the skeptic is trying to challenge the prover into trapping fx within l minus epsilon to l plus epsilon. But even if you haven't seen that, the, the main purpose of picking epsilon is to pick this interval surrounding L, right? So instead of saying for every epsilon greater than zero, let's say for every choice of choice of neighborhood of L. So what do I mean by that? I've not really defined it. So, so sort of this is a definition which is not really a definition. It's the it's sort of the blueprint for definitions. It's it's what it's what you fill in the details and get a correct definition. So by neighborhood, I mean in this case, I would mean something like L minus epsilon L plus epsilon. It's an it's an open interval surrounding L. Okay. This one. So so the conceptual definition starts by saying for every choice of neighborhood of L. Okay. So the term neighborhood I haven't really defined. But that, that's the point. It's, it's a general conceptual definition. There exists. What should come next? There exists a? A delta. Well, that's what the concrete definition says. But what would the conceptual thing say? A of what? Of C. Of C. Of the thing. Of the domain thing. Okay, because that the delta is the goal of the delta. The goal of picking delta is to find a neighborhood of C points immediate left and immediate right of C. So there exists a choice of neighborhood. C such that oh by the way I, I sometimes abbreviate such that as SP. Okay. Uh, don't get confused by that. Okay, what next? Let's bring out the thing. So the next thing says for all x with zero less than this thing. What is this saying? For all x in the neighborhood, right? Mm -hmm. Except the point C itself. So what should come here? For all x in the neighborhood of C, I'll put x not equal to C. Is that clear? Yes. x not equal to C in the just to neighborhood chosen for C. The reason we are excluding the point C is it's it's because we take the limit at the point and we just care about stuff around. We don't care about what's happening at the point. For C, so this chosen neighborhood. Okay. So, 
So I'm writing the black for the choices that the skeptic makes and the red for the choices the pro makes. Actually, that's the reverse of what I did in the other video, but that's okay. They can change colors. So, so, so if you've seen that limit game thing, this color pattern just the black matches the skeptic choices and the red matches the what the prover chooses. But if you haven't seen that, it's not an issue. Just it's just read it as single color. So then, what what happens next? What 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 do we need to check in order to say this limit? So fx should be where? In the neighborhood of L. Yeah. So in in the concrete definition, we say fx minus L is less than epsilon. Right, but that's just checking that fx is in this chosen neighborhood of that. So fx is in the chosen neighborhood of So, so now that we have this, this is kind of a blueprint for the definition. This is a, this is a blueprint. Well, let me write it in blue. So this is a blueprint for the definition. What I mean is that now if I ask you to define a limit in a slightly different context, you just have to figure out what do you need to figure out in order to make this rigorous definition? What word do you need to understand the meaning of? Hmm? Neighborhood. neighborhood right so that's that's the magic word that and be, behind which i'm hiding the details if you if you can understand what i mean by neighborhood then then you can turn this into a concrete definition 